a minor in theology. During her time at Bellarmine, Molly has been on the Dean's List and she studied abroad in Italy in the spring of her junior year. Also as a junior, Molly is on the winning team for the Bellarmine University Ethics Bowl. After college, she plans to continue her education with a master's in social work and hopes to work with childhood trauma victims. Her thesis advisor was Dr. Christy Wolf. Thank you. So, thank you, Mary, for introducing me. As Mary said, I'm Molly B, and I did my, my honors thesis on the relationship between changing parenting styles and self esteem for successive generations. There's been a great deal of research done on the relationship between parenting styles and self esteem. A lot of it conflicts, though, so I wanted to look at the same topic and see kind of my own data on it. Also, very little has been done on how self-esteem has changed across generations and how parenting style has changed across generations. So I thought this was a topic that would be well worth investigating further. So as I said, the purpose of this study was to examine how parenting styles have changed across three generations, if they have at all, to examine how the self-esteem of each generation has changed, again, if it has, and to study the relationship between self-esteem of each generation and perceived parenting style for each generation. So for the purposes of this study, I'm not looking at the parents' self-esteem, I'm looking at the child's self-esteem <laughs> as related to the perception of the parents' parenting style. Um, a little bit of background on this topic. I used three parenting styles as outlined by Diana Baumrind. Um, the first of these is authoritarian parenting. Authoritarian parenting is characterized by a parent whose word is law, very much. They value obedience, tradition, and the parent is the parent and the child is the child. Authoritative parenting is the parent is still the parent, is still the authority, but there's more give and take between the parent and the child. So the parent will make a rule, and the child will have a say in it, will have an opinion about it, but the parent ultimately makes the decision. Permissive parenting, uh, one of the phrases I came across a lot when I was doing research on this was child as parent. So the child makes the rule in the house. The parent doesn't want to step on the child's autonomy, so it goes along with it. Not super disciplined, um, not super concerned with the child's obedience. Um, the three generations I wanted to look at are baby boomers, Generation X, and Generation Y. Now, research kind of conflicts on what the exact years um, are for each generation. So for the pur purposes of this study, I chose to define baby boomers as those born between the years 1946 and 1964. Within the baby boomer generation, since it is so large, they are often split into two separate groups. Uh, the early boomers, which were born around 1946 to 1955, and the late boomers, late boomers, <laughs> <laughs> born around 1956 to 1964. Um, they, since that's so big, though, I decided for this study to condense the two of them. But they all, both uh, groups have different, have perceived different parenting styles in the research I found. So, for instance, early boomers were much more coddled, were much more um, protected because, partially, uh, they just come off of World War II when people were valuing their children, valuing <laughs> the, the safety thereof. And the late boomers um, were raised during a time where there was a juvenile delinquency scare, so parents were much more disciplined with their children, kind of got a lot harder on them. Um, so their parents were mostly traditionalists, which is the generation directly before this, which are were overwhelmed with a great deal of parenting styles and tips following World War II. The second generation I looked at was Generation X, and those are those, those consisted of those born between the year 1965 and 1977. Now, Generation X often seeks a balance between work and family. Early <coughs> boomers were very goal-oriented, very hardworking. Often that came at the price of absentee parenting a bit. The child, children, even if this is Generation X is the first generation to experience daycare. So they wanted to seek a balance between work and family life. They wanted to enjoy their work rather than just succeed in it. And these, the parents of Generation X were typically traditionalists or the early boomers. Generation Y, also known as millennials, it's more commonly known as millennials, um, is the, those born between 1978 and 1998. <coughs> Um, these, this generation is very connected and social. They're technologically adaptable, great multitaskers. Um, and they were raised often by the late boomer, boomer, boomers or Generation X. 
Self-esteem is a concept that was <coughs> Rosenberg was pretty much the pioneer. I like my little cat. <laughs> <laughs> Rosenberg was kind of the pioneer of self-esteem research. Um, and self-esteem is defined as the attitude towards oneself. So someone who has high self-esteem has a very positive self-regard, they're proud of their accomplishments, they form close relationships. Someone with low self-esteem has negative self-regard, doesn't take much pride in accomplishments, isolated, um, and self-conscious. So it's better to have high self-esteem than it is to have low self-esteem. So some previous research done on this topic, Baumrin, who first put forth the parenting style, um, studied preschool-age children and sorted them into three patterns. The first of these patterns consisted of children who had good self-control, were very independent, um, were very had a tendency towards exploration. The second pattern consisted of children who were distrustful, withdrawn, not content with their surroundings. <coughs> and the third pattern consisted of children who had a lack of self-control, very dependent on their parents, and very distrustful of new experiences. She sorted these children, and then she also rated their parents based on several um, criteria, such as parental nurturance, um, communication between children, the types of demands that the parent was making of the child, and found that the parents of pattern one children most closely aligned with authoritative parenting. So they had children who had more self-control.